If you need really accurate time with your next Arduino prototype, using a GPS breakout shield or breakout board is a very viable solution. GPS relies on extremely accurate timing to figure out your position within the globe. And I actually have this breakout board right here hooked up to a seven segment display. And sure enough, when I upload the code for the GPS, I can extract the time from that breakout shield and then simply display it on this seven segment LED display. Now I was actually going to write some code and discuss how I could pull the time data off a of GPS. But what I found out was when I launched my Arduino software and I went into the examples of the LED backpack, there was this clock seven seg GPS. It's actually exactly what I wanted to do, but Adafruit already beat me to it with their library. So a couple things to note. Number one, when you upload this code, there's just a few wires to hook up. They both rely on I squared C, so you only have a clock and a data pin power and ground. Four wires for the GPS, you can see them right here, and five wires for the LED backpack because I'm using such a large display, there's actually two power lines going in. It's all commented in the code. There's even a tutorial online. A few things to note with using GPS. Number one, they do use a decent amount of power. So power management is, is important to understand. Number two, you need a line of sight with the sky. Although I'm here in my home office and I'm getting a GPS signal, if it's in a building or there's metal around, you might not get that GPS signal from the satellites. Number two, understand that the time from GPS is a standard zero time a Greenwich Mean Time, and you're going to need to offset that time. In the code, it's fully commented whether you have to add a few hours or subtract a few hours. You don't have to deal with minutes and seconds, but just understand that the first time you run it, you probably won't have an accurate time. In fact, mine's saying 249 right now. That's not right. It's off by a few hours. A couple lines of code changing, and I can fix that almost instantly. The other thing you should know is, to be quite honest with you, using a GPS to grab time Probably not the best solution. It's expensive, much easier to use a real-time clock, and a real-time clock with a battery backup could last years and years once you initially set it. However, I have to initially set it. This one, I don't have to initially set anything. Once I power it up, the GPS signal is grabbed, the time's grabbed, and it's all set. So if you're building a prototype that has GPS or needs accurate time and you happen to have a GPS module, and it's just a prototype, why not use it and leverage the fact that it has very accurate time?